Hello and welcome. I will show you how to use the Simulink Test Manager to automate batch back to back testing of multiple model components. Back to back testing is done to ensure equivalence of model and its production generated code. This is commonly required by standards like ISO 26262. Back to back testing helps ensure that the production code behaves the same way as in simulation. Coverage collection can be used to ensure that your testing is adequate and there is no dead code or extra functionality. We will perform back to back testing on few component blocks of the cruise control model. I have already built code for my top model. First, let's launch the test manager and open the test for model component wizard. I load the current model as the top model which brings up the model hierarchy. I then hold control key and multi select the desired components by clicking them. Let's add these three components to the selected components table. I can also delete components present in the table but here I am happy with my current selection. I proceed to the next step and select Simulink Design Verifier. This option tells the tool to auto generate test inputs for each component. You must have Simulink Design Verifier installed to see this option. Let's select the back to back test verification strategy to do a normal versus software in the loop equivalency test. I use import harnesses with Excel file format for generated test input data. Finally, I press done and the automatic test generation process starts. The new test file is available once test generation completes. We also get an HTML report saved in the current working directory. The report shows a mapping of components to generated test cases. Next, let's enable coverage collection for my test file and run it. Fast forwarding through the execution, we see the results of our back to back tests have passed. We can analyze the coverage results at the test file level in the aggregated coverage results section and we can also analyze the coverage results at the individual test case levels. We see that the equivalence criteria results for all our test cases have passed. You may then create reports out of the generated result set. You can also use the sltest.testmanager.createTest for component API to use the same workflow in a scripted setting. The example you just saw is available in Simulink Test for you to try out. Please give us your feedback and thanks for watching.